Knights of Apollo, welcome back to the adventures of Alongus Dongus. And oh, look at this. We are just coming across the man that betrayed us. And he dare walks into my fiefdom and recruits young men into his army to fight for him. Folks, I think it's quite clear that we were betrayed by the Khan. Left to fight the Azurai all alone. And only when, when we were winning, we were defeating mighty Azurai armies, then we saw reinforcements arrive. When it was clear that we were going to win the war. I have been nothing but loyal, brave, and honest to the Khan. And in a matter of hours, he betrayed me and everything I did for him. Guys, this is not a civil war per se. Technically, it's a war of secession because we're not like trying to... T I mean, I guess it's a civil war, but like I'm more like seceding from... Whatever. Let's get past the technicalities, okay? What I'm trying to say here is that this is a war of retribution. I'm telling you here. I'm telling you now. This is not for the weak of heart, okay? If you cannot handle this, this is going to be a bloody war. This is going to be a devastating war. Brother v. Brother. Sister v sister, and it's time for you guys to take a side. You fight for the Khan, or you fight for the honorable and glorious Alongus Dongus. Oh, also guys, on a lighter note, uh, I did ask you guys to join my Discord and post some memes. You guys posted some hilarious memes, and I want to share some of those memes with you. Just, I don't know, I, th I thought they were pretty funny. Oh, also guys, I asked you to give me a good kingdom name, and someone knocked it out of the park it's not even close this person nearly got at the time of this recording a thousand likes on his comment so here is the winning name for the kingdom it is by ethan hartman kingdom of long dongia yes that's that's beautiful it, it brought a tear to my eye so anyways back to the war of retribution we need to get every single one of our companions better armor, and we need them to form their own armies. So unfortunately, only four compa or three companions can, can form their own personal armies. So we're going to have to pick our best warriors here of our companions, and they're going to form their own parties. And that is all we can really call upon in this great war. It's going to be intense, guys. We're going to be outnumbered. We might even be outmatched in terms of unit skill and equipment, but we must prevail. We must prevail and bring down the car. So the two new lords that are going to lead armies are Vorad the Tracker, and then I'm going to send Tusui to, to, to to the Swift to lead her own army as well. And hopefully they can muster up an army very quickly, but we do need to hook them up with some good equipment before we send them out. We also gained a ton of loot from the war against the Azerite that we single-handedly won, basically. So we have a lot of stuff. I'm gonna go through this equipment before I sell it, and I most likely will give it to the other lords who are gonna be, uh, you know, they're gonna be leading their own armies, because I want them well-equipped, I want them ready to go, and I want them to be on the battlefield of retribution. So since we already have Volrard, the tracker, I'll go ahead and look through his equipment really fast and make sure he's hooked up with the best of the best. All right, so I just went through all of his equipment. He actually has really good equipment. Uh, I got him a better horse, a better sword, some new arrows, but that's about it. I think he's got some new mittens here. Uh, they, <laughs> they look a little excessive, but that's okay. So I'm going to go ahead and let him lead his own army, and I will also drop off uh, some troops for him. Uh, I'm not going to do anything too uh, high up in tier. I just want him to have about 10 or so troops so he has some things, you know, to, to help him get started. Okay, awesome. Here's his 10 troops. May he lead them to glory. So now we need to travel to our furthest away territory. This is where uh, the Swift... What, 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 is her, what, what is her stupid name? Too, too, too sweet? Too sweet? I, I don't know. Whatever. The, the, you know, the Kuze girl. We're going to take you away from here. And then we're going to take you into the party. And then let's hook her up with some much needed equipment. All right. Epic. She looks so much better. She's got new armor, uh, much better equipment, new swords, a new horse, new horse armor. She's ready to go. She's looking cool. 
cool. I like how she's got the little bit of the Azurite garb. It's kind of like a symbol, you know? It's a symbol of, you know, wearing the garb of the people you conquered. And don't worry, we're going to finish off the Azurite once this War of Secession is over. So let's go ahead and form her own party and do the same thing. We're going to give her 10 soldiers to help her out. Okay, so we'll we'll just give her six because all all of my remaining soldiers are pretty high tier and I don't want to lose them. Like, I, they're really good and I worked hard on that, okay? So she's just going to have to deal with six and she'll be fine. She'll, be, she'll figure it out. So now that we maxed out our parties, we need to give them time to recruit more troops and prepare for war. And I need to do the same thing. I need to travel over to Kuze territory and I need to recruit more horse archers and more horsemen. Also, since I've given all my good equipment to my uh, companions, I can go ahead and sell what's left over because I also need to increase the amount of money I have and how much I'm making. Woo, man, fighting entire factions by yourself gets you a lot of dough. So not only am I going to recruit more soldiers for my personal army, I'm also going to recruit soldiers for nearby garrisons because we need to strengthen all of our garrisons. Another thing that we need to be patient on is that we need to wait until the Kuzate, till the Khan goes to war with someone else. That will be the perfect time to declare our independence and fight for our right to party all right so i just recruited a bunch of troops all right and i just grabbed whatever i could doesn't matter if they're cheap infantry expensive infantry horse archers or whatever i grabbed everything and i'm going to send all non-horsemen to the border territories between us and the other kuzate lords so uh, this city here, this city here, this castle here. I think these three territories are going to be the biggest factors in this battle, in this war. 346 minutes later. All right, guys, it's been a couple days. We've been recruiting troops. We've been putting them in our settlements. There's over 300 defenders, uh, garrison defenders. There's even more if you count the militia in this in this city. Same thing in this city over here. And then I made sure to get over 200 in the castle. So uh, we've got our forces. We've got our settlements ready to go, ready to hold. We're ready to fight. We maxed out our army, our uh, companions are slowly but surely building up their armies they haven't quite completely built up their armies but they will soon so now guys it's all just a waiting game we gotta wait for the Khan to go to war as soon as he goes to war we can even wait until he loses a big battle uh, or even barely wins a battle and then we go to war with them and we're gonna try to blitzkrieg him we're going to take many castles convince many of the Lords to join us because the Lords are on my side they're just afraid right now okay they're just a little scared of the Khan and they need a little push they need a little evidence that someone could stand up to the con and be successful and we're gonna be that guy we're that guy oh boy hold on pause 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 okay this is it this is it so it appears that the azurai just haven't had enough and they have declared war on the kuzates i couldn't think of a better war against a better faction to leave the con against the Azrai, the faction I had to fight all alone. Well, guess what, Khan? You have to fight the Azurai all alone now. So what I'm going to do is wait for the Khan's army to get in the south here. I think Ira is under attack, so we should probably link up with her. Yeah, she's under attack, man. We got to get over there. I don't know if we can save her. Oh, she was just captured. Dang it. Come on, Azurai. Just give me a moment for pity's sake. Well, that's that's unfortunate, but it's not the end of the world. So we also have our fellow lords. Look, we got Swift in here. We've got uh, the tracker. They're in the Khan's army. Uh, I guess I could tell them to disband, force this army to disband. I probably will do that right uh right before they get into a battle <laughs> so we're just gonna chill at this castle for now again we're waiting for the khan's army to get over here the khan's army is not far behind and this is gonna be quite an awkward situation for him isn't this just a nice sight look at all these lords going to the south when it's convenient for them oh yes yes come fight the azurai oh that's nice uh, you know at least i'm not all alone this time well it's too late khan it's too late. Here comes the stupid con. Look at you, you stupid bitch. I hate you. 
I hate you! So they are venturing towards the front line. It looks like they're about to attack someone who's sieging that city that I worked very hard to get. I hope they lose it. I hope they do. All right, guys, it's time. We are leaving the kingdom, and I'm taking all of my holdings. Now, the other lords are going to be pretty upset about this, but over time, they will see the light. Okay, so uh, I'm kind of having a little bit of a mini panic attack here because um, I don't see where you can create your own kingdom. It used to be a button. I looked up online that you have to assign one of your companions or followers as a governor, and then you need to go talk to them to form your own kingdom. It's kind of a weird way to do it, but let's hope this works. I do have uh, my one companion over here in my city, so uh, we should probably go talk to them. All right, let's talk to him. Your lordship, I await your orders. That's what I like to hear. It is time to take a momentous step. It is time to proclaim a new kingdom. I am at your command. Look at it, he's like, yes. Yes, I am at your command. The language of our documents and our customary laws. Who should we use? The language and laws of the Kuzates, of course. Yes, a kingdom using Kuzate law would institute the following. Grazing rights in sacred majesty. Very well. Now, what will our kingdom be called? I'll name it. Long Dongia. So it shall be proclaimed throughout your domain. May Long Dongia forever be victorious. Amen. <laughs> On the eighth day of autumn, 1092, Alongus has declared the creation of a new realm. The Long Dongia. <laughs> the, I like how it's called the Long Dongia. <laughs> yes, yes, my lords. This is where we will attack. It's like me giving out the orders. Right here. This is where we'll make our stand. Look at him. He's like, hmm. Hmm. Ugh. The Khan has his men located in the southern region near the Azurai. Hmm. Yes, if we strike now, if we strike now, we can gain so much. Uh, we have declared Longus of the Longdongia. <laughs> Longus of the Longdongia declares war in the Kuzates. <laughs> Oh, it's time to go to war. All right, so bad news. I have no influence, but that's expected to change over time. I am considered the king, uh, so or the Khan, I suppose. And we're just going to have to wait some time. I think what I'm going to do is just go after individual lords. And remember, our goal here is not to fight, per se, like right away. Our goal here is to get them to join us. Oh, no. Okay, hold on. We got a situation here. We have 800 men headed somewhere. Traveling. Oh, no. No. Okay, so they're going all the way. Okay, we got to watch them. See, this is this is the challenge, guys. And I'm not going to I'm not going to spend money for peace. I'm going to make them beg for peace, okay? Okay, we might want to call some backup here. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, oh, thanks. It, well, that's good. It doesn't cost any. That's right, because she's she's a follower. She doesn't cost any influence. We need her pronto, uh, but that is our only other companion, so that's not good. Oh, this is going to be big, guys. This is going to be big. But yeah, I'm going to stay close near this army to make sure they continue to pursue, because I don't want to just travel to the city and then they attack this one. You know what I mean? Oh, guys, this just gets better and better. So the Khan and the Kuzates have now declared war, or maybe the Northern Empire has declared war on them because the, K the Khan has now changed targets. He's going for some random castle to besiege, which is held by the Northern, the, the, the Northern Empire. So what I'm going to do is just make sure he kind of leaves our territory and he doesn't change his mind. I don't want him to just all of a sudden turn and take the city. Okay, yes, he's going. He's committing to this random city. So what I'm going to do is uh, head south. It's risky, but we're going to head south and we're going to take this city back. This is a symbolic city for us. We took this single-handedly fighting the Azurite. We're going to go take it back. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. And just like that, the Kuzates have sent a messenger of peace. Oh, that's nice. I'm not even going to look at it. Why? Because I want this damn city. 
All right, so we've got some enemy lords here. Again, I'm not necessarily going to fight them. I'm going to negotiate with them. Unfortunately, they're too fast. Dang it. They are way too fast. All right, so they actually turn and face me. Uh, <laughs> look, man. <laughs> Don't give me that look. Don't you give me that look. He's giving me the look of like disgust. You call me a traitor? You want to you want to know what betrayal in in in, tra in a traitor is? Is when I was fighting the Azari alone. Where were you? Where were you? Well, it looks like we're not going to be able to talk to him, so we're going to have to fight to the uh fight to the death. A little kuzade on kuzade. It's unfortunate, but it's the way of the world. Okay. So, uh, I don't think this is going to be too difficult. We have a pretty, uh, pretty high advantage over them. Like, uh, we have greatly, uh, more advantage over them. Yeah, so I'm not too worried about this. They don't have a lot of troops. In fact, most of their troops are infantry, which, uh, is really just perfect. So I'm going to take my cab and tell them to follow me. Everyone else, I'm going to stay put and they're going to hold their ground. Are they actually coming to us? Wait, are they... Wait, wait. They are attacking us, guys. Hold up. Hold up. They're so dead. So I'm going to move my cab to the flank, and I'm just going to post up and spread out my horse archers. Put these guys over there, and then I'm going to take my cab again with me, and we are going to confront the wings of their army. We're going to go deal with this 27 cab with my 94, and we're just going to slowly chip away at their army. Look at They're actually advancing upon us unbelievable all right here we go it sucks to kill kuzates but it's the only way to show them the light and the insane lag what the hell kuzates lay down your arms i am the rifle con you must see the way in your error Okay, so the enemy's getting close. We're gonna go ahead and tell the horse archers to charge. We need to go support where we can. It looks like the other wing. Oh yeah, there they go. The other cav, the other wing of cav. We need to go support and deal with that. It looks like they're losing though. It does appear to be uh, them losing. Oh yeah, they're already down to 17. Get them, boys. You're not even Kuze. All right, I'll go ahead and at this point tell my cab to charge. Kill anything in sight. My infantry, charge. And now we sit back and we fire away. All right, it's getting a little challenging to get these hits on these guys, so I'm gonna go in, glaive a swinging. Oh, I, I knocked out one of the enemy lords. Well done, lads. Our first victory as a kingdom and me as a con. All right, well done, guys. Victory. So we lost, really? We lost 60 men, but we only lost nine to my personal army. I think it was like, yeah, Imperial recruits 37. It's, it is what it is. And as frustrating as this is, we've got to let them go because it's going to make them like us more and it's going to improve our charm in the long run. It's better for us and eventually they will join us. My goodness, we have a lot of leveling up to do. We also have some prisoners that want to join us. I'm just going to go ahead and grab all the cav units that uh, will be a great addition to our forces. Okay, so this is a good start, and I'm not negotiating peace because... Okay, so this is a good start, but I'm not going to negotiate peace because... Consider making peace paying 350 tribute per day. No, I'm not paying any tribute. This is not... We're not some vassal. We're not... We're not paying, you know, oh, we're going to pay you money so we can exist. No. So I don't think I'm going to be able to take this city because there's three lords in there with almost all of them having a hundred men. Almost. Not really, but they've got a lot of lords in there. If the lords weren't in this city, I could easily take it. I could. But unfortunately, that's just not the case right now. And I think what we have to do at this point of the great war of uh of retribution is we need to play defensively and we need to defeat armies defensively 
Oh, and I forgot. We can actually send out our lords that were actually captured. So let's get Ira to go out there and then let's get the tracker. So they can go ahead and start building up their forces again because we're going to need their men very soon. So what I've done now is I maxed out my personal army. I'm just going to keep hitting these uh, villages and cities so uh, my other follower can continue to recruit. And so far so good. We're at 300. Uh, things are looking good. Um, if I can get this army up to 500, maybe I could lay siege uh, to that city in the south. But for now, I'm just going to leave it. I mean, we could even take a city up north here. I'm, I'm kind of curious to see, like, how much they have. Oh, they only... Okay, so they have 472 defenders. I mean, that's a pretty large amount. I don't I don't know. I'm going to go ahead and call Ira back into my army. I need to leave him to, to recruit more because 47 is not enough. I'll probably wait until he has about 60. Dang, Ira has 125. Dang, that puts us at 437. I don't know. We might be able to go on the offensive. I just don't want to sit here and be too defensive. We we might want to make a move somewhere. So now the tracker's army is up to 74. I'll go ahead and call him with me. And that's going to put us uh, over 500. So pretty sweet there. We're at 515. You know what? I'm going to go back. I'm going to go back and I'm taking, I'm taking this city down here. It puts our cities up here at risk. But, uh, you know, I, I want that city down in that Azerai territory. I worked so hard to get it. And, of course, as we continue towards that city down in the south, I will recruit by just hitting up all these villages and cities along the way. All right, guys, we're back at the city. It's, uh, oh, hey, one of their lords left, though. They're at 648, though. Dang, that's a lot of troops. Oh, this guy. Oh, the 170 left. He just left as we're about to siege him. That's going to drop him 478. We're actually going to have more troops than them if we lay siege. Oh, my gosh. Okay, can we, can we possibly convince any of these lords to join us? I'm happy with my current liege. Damn it. Let's try the other lord. Hey, buddy, it's me. Uh, you want to join me? Dang it! Well, I offered them a way of peace and they declined. So be it. Okay, so we built all of our defenses. What I'm going to do now is build four trebuchet. Once those get firing, I'm... Oh, I thought they were going to attack. Once those get firing, I'm going to build the ram and... Oh, I keep thinking they're going to attack, but they don't do it. Okay, so now that we have all the trebuchet ready to go, I'm going to I'm gonna go ahead and deploy them all. And now we're going to build our siege equipment. And like I said, we're going to have this equipment ready to go. And once we've destroyed all of their equipment, uh, uh, like their artillery and stuff, then we're going to attack. What? Oh my gosh. The Northern Empire just declared war on me. Oh, this is not good. Why? Oh, the Northern Empire just signed a peace treaty. Oh, they're no longer at war with the Kuzates. Now they're attacking us. Why? Because we're also Kuzate? That's... It's annoying. Okay, so we have built all the trebuchet. Well, one's destroyed, but we have three trebuchet and we have all the towers and everything. I'm going to go ahead and level up as many troops as possible. And then I'm also going to add all these prisoners into the army. And what that's going to do is bolster numbers there. Uh, but it's okay if it's too much. Uh, this is going to be a tough battle, guys. It's not going to be easy. Uh, let's just do it. We got to do battles like this one. If we're going to be able to lead our own kingdom, we got to win this. All right, boys, let's go get this city. The city that should have been ours in the first place. I don't see any defenders yet. Man, it is a bright, sunny day. It's uh, symbolic, guys. Symbolic of a bright future for the uh, for the uh, longest dongus. What dong dong long long dongia? <laughs> I'm already forgetting the old, my own kingdom name. All right, so the archers have made it up here, and I'm gonna try to kill as many as. Oh, oh, we gotta be careful though. There we go. Do not shoot at my men, please. This is a perfect angle. The only bad thing is that I only have nine more arrows. Ah, dang it. All right, we're out of arrows, but that's okay. We're making ground. Come on, guys. Let's go. Push it up. Push it up. What I could do is try to find a dead archer and pick up his arrows. All right, perfect. We got 24 more arrows. Let's go. Sit down. All right, man. Godspeed. We got to help them where we can from the flank. 
Get him, boys. Get him. Come on. We absolutely can do this. There we go. Lots of green. Lots of green. All right, I'm going to go up there. Come on. We can do this. I believe we must take these walls. Don't let them push you back. What is happening? I'm like glitching out. We got reinforcements coming or no? No. Oh, gosh. <laughs> Nearly fell to my death. All right, this is risky, but we got to make a path here. Oh, no. No, 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 no. Fuck! Well, uh, the good news is uh, I thought for sure we were going to lose this, but... It is far from over. In fact, we have the lead. We have the lead. Come on, guys. Oh, yeah, we're going to win. We're going to win. All right, we're going to take this damn castle. Man, it sucks that I died there, but it is what it is. Yes. Yes. Great victory. Great victory. Oh, my gosh. It looked closer than it was. It's because we had a lot of reinforcements. They didn't. So we lost 247 men. 40 of my men died. 40. My goodness. So I'll go ahead and send in the troops to deal with the garrison. We only lose two more men. That's okay. Uh, we gained a ton of renown and influence, so that's good. Hello. Good to see you here, Alongus. Wait, are you... What? Who are you? Who was that? Who... I don't know who that was. So since we got all those extra troops from taking the city, I'm just going to go ahead and... First off, let's cancel all buildings. And just do, yeah, do festival and games to prevent any kind of rebellion. Let's manage the garrison. We only have 22 soldiers in here. We're going to drop off a ton of troops. Okay, so we dropped off all the extra, tro all extra troops. We kept some of them to keep our, our, hel our army healthy. Words are hard. But the troops now, we have 157 in here ready to defend, ready to go. So the now, now the question is, what do we do here? Uh, do we negotiate peace with the Kuzates or do we keep fighting? So we just leveled up tactics. I went with improviser. That's going to help us sally, uh, sally out in battles and also... We lose 25% fewer men when breaking into a settlement under siege. That's really useful. Wow. Okay. So if we offer peace, we'll receive 2,270 gold from the Kuzates. Guys, this is a great start. A great start for the War of Retribution. Uh, we took the city that is rightfully ours, and they're going to be paying us 2,000 gold. Let's see if they accept it. They do. They do accept it. So now they're paying us 2,270 gold, but we're far from over, guys, because we're at war with the Northern Empire. So I'm going to go ahead and disband the army and let my lords just kind of recruit and regroup. We need, to, we need to quickly head up north because the Northern Empire is probably on their way as we speak. Oh my gosh, we're making so much money now because of that uh, uh, because of that peace treaty. Like what the heck? This is awesome. And we're back up north of our kingdom. I'm going to go ahead and trade all my loot. Man, that's crazy. 48k from a couple successful battles. I guess what we could do at this point is try to get some of the Northern Empire lords to join us and be a part of our faction. Oh, there we go. He's besieging me. Okay, so this this castle here is not too much of an issue uh, because I don't... It's so far away from the rest of my forces. I don't really mind losing it. I mean, look at our kingdom. Look at that. So so grand, so epic. But yeah, I don't really mind losing this castle. Let's see how many they're, they're attacking here. In 600? Okay, okay. I think we can... Actually, I think we can defeat this force. I think we can. So I'm going to go ahead and summon my other lords to join me to get our numbers up. I don't know how, how strong of an army this is, but again, if we win this battle here, there's a good chance that we can negotiate peace with the Northern Empire in our favor. Okay, so they just begun the attack. 
Oh, jeez. They're attacking hard. We got to hope that our castle can hold. Oh, they're dropping fast, though. They are dropping fast. Ooh, we need some reinforcements here. You know what? I might go in. We're less than 100. All right, I'm going in. I, I got to. I want my reinforcements here, but they're taking too long. I got to defend my castle. Oh, and the... Oh, we've got the advantage. All right, let's do it. Oh, yes. Look at this battlefield. This is perfect. Are they going to attack us, though? I don't know. Let's see. Let's just hold our ground for now and see what they do. If they actually move forward to us, they are screwed. They're moving forward. Oh, my gosh. Okay, so let's take the infantry. We're going to move them down here. Infantry probably won't survive this battle, but... That's okay. Bowmen will put you up on this hill like so. They've got horse archers moving up. That's fine. My horses go down here. We have a lot of them. Look at them all. Look at them all. Let's go. Let's go. I'm going to move my horsemen way on the flank. Way on the flank. You know what? Horse archers, let's get you moving. I'm actually going to go ahead and send in my calf. They have a ton of archers. Which, if we just sit here and let them shoot at us, they will destroy us. Come here. Little Northern Empire scum. Absolute trash. Garbage. Cav, keep pushing. You know what? I'll tell the Cav to charge. Give them hell, boys. I'm just going to keep focusing the enemy Cav. All right, infantry, charge. Archers, charge. Chaos. Chaos on the battlefield. I live for it. I dream of it. I make it happen. And I'm just going to really focus these archers down since most of their cab is dead. No more archers. You are not taking this city nice and we're i mean this has been a costly battle but we are winning but dang i mean this was no pushover army with all these archers like if you have an army full of archers it's pretty tough to beat i mean obviously if you have a bunch of cab that helps but they just, they have so many archers. I'm just sitting here constantly killing them. Do not let them attack our stationary cav. Kill them. Oh, nice. We got one of the lords. Yeah, I think it's safe to say we're going to win this one. But we lost a lot. And in a kingdom where we're heavily outnumbered by most other factions. We can't afford victories like this. All right, excellent, guys. Fantastic victory. That's how we do it. So we actually lost more than they did, which is a bit of a bummer, but a good victory nonetheless. So as much as I want to let these guys go, uh, I need... I need more war score, right? I'm going to take these guys prisoner. And hopefully by doing so, that's going to help um, help us negotiate with us having the strength. You know, us having the power to negotiate. Holy moly, we just found some sick horse armor. Look at that. We got some empire horse armor. Looks pretty cool. It does a lot of uh, does a lot of protection. Does a lot of protection. So we got some good loot here, guys. Fantastic loot. So consider making peace, paying three thousand tribute. Huh? Not exactly what I wanted. We are gonna link up with our fellow followers here, our fellow Kuzate lords, the true Kuzates, right? True Kuzates. Oh no! 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 They're sieging us over here. This is not good. This is not good. We cannot let this happen. All right, let's see what we got here. What? 2,000 men? No. 
No, 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 no. Okay, okay. All right, well, we got some leveling up here to do. Uh, leadership, let's see what we got. So we're gonna go with lead by example. Increase the rate of recruiting melee prisoners by 50%. Cav troops generate 10% more shared experience. We got some riding skills. We're gonna go with cavalry tactics. Troops uh, volunteering rate increases by 30%. Mounted troops have 50% reduced wages in settlements garrisons. Now I'm gonna go with bullseye for my bow skill. Range troops in your party gain an additional 10% for total XP earned after battles. Two time, two plus two XP daily for all troops and garrisons to uh, to govern settlements. So that's that's pretty good. I'm not a governor, but whatever. And I'm gonna go with guards here for our pole arm. Man, we we've got so much to level up. This uh, if we, if we hit an enemy on their head, it does 50% more damage. An experience gained of garrison, cav, and govern settlements. We're, we're not a governor, so it doesn't really matter. So we'll go with that. Um, but we do have a situation on our hands here, and I don't know what to do. We might have to negotiate peace. Man, they're asking for 4,000 tribute. 4,000 tribute. Oh, I hate that. Oh, they begun the attack. 227, 217, 206. I don't know. I don't think we're going to do it. Dang it, guys. I, I could try to get in here. Is this worth it? Probably not. Probably not. You know, no, this is suicide. This is not going to happen. This is not going to happen. So I'm not going to get involved. You know what they're probably going to do? They're going to take this city and then they're going to move on to the next one. I think what we should do is take the time that we do have and prepare for the next siege. So I'm going to quickly rush over. Now, this is risky because I'm going to weaken my castle. But what I'm going to do is rush over to this castle and grab some recruits, some soldiers from this castle and move them into here, into uh, the, the city. Because I know for a fact, well, okay, so if they go for the castle, it's not a big deal. I don't, I don't mind losing castles. Oh, look. Oh, yeah. See, they're sieging the castle in the north. They can siege that castle. I don't really care. But we're going to go to this garrison, and we're going to take the deadliest defensive unit. So mostly archers. Add them to, to my army, and we're going to try to strengthen up the defense of that, that next city. Because if we can hold and defeat his army, we might have enough ground there to negotiate peace in our with with strength like with our advantage okay cool so we just maxed out our army we're gonna head straight back to the city oh go 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 okay we're just barely gonna beat them there Woo! all right so yeah sure enough 2000 i knew it i freaking knew it he was coming right after he's on a war campaign here a conquest huh well, we just got to wait here and hope for the best and hope that we're going to be strong enough against 2,000 troops. So it is nighttime. They are building a ram, and it looks like they're also going to build a tower. And I'm hoping, like, eventually prisoners want to join us because, I mean, I know our army's maxed out, but... What? Oh, my gosh. The Southern Empire declares war on us? Come on. Not now. I get it. I understand why you're mad at us. Oh, they they're attacking? Oh boy, here we go guys. Early in the morning, they're attacking. Okay, so we've got all of our catapults set up here. I could try to get on one of these catapults and do some damage, but I feel like the AI is better at it than me. But we might want to destroy the ram. If we can destroy the ram, I don't know, maybe not. It's tough to tell. I don't know, we just got to fight our hearts out. At the end of the day, we got to fight our hearts out. This is what we're fighting for. This epic city that's in my domain. Let's go. Here we go. All right, come on, catapults. You got to land some hits. You must land some hits. That's not landing hits. All right, I'm going to get on this catapult. I'm going to go for the ram. Try to take out the ram. Oh, nice. Okay, we did. Oh, nice. Nice, good hit. Come on, let's not whiff. Let's not whiff. We got to hit this. Yes, we got it. Okay, so we don't have to worry about the ram, but all this infantry is going to be dispersing everywhere. Can we... Can we get this next? Please tell me we can get this. Oh my gosh. We might... Oh, no. Maybe, maybe. Can we turn this more? We can turn this more? Yes, we can. Oh, I destroyed it! Uh, yes! Oh my gosh! 
Okay, 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 okay. You know what that means? You know what that means? All we have to hold is a ladder. That's all we have to hold. We destroyed the ram. We destroyed the, uh, the, the siege equipment. Now, they do have artillery, so... Oh! This is epic as hell! This is so cool! Yes! You're not taking this! Oh my gosh, look at them all. Look at them all. Uh, I don't... <laughs> I need to get a rock, dude. Just one rock. Let's see how much damage I could do against this blob. Oh, guys, I think we're gonna win. I think we're gonna win. You idiots. You fools. Um, excuse me? What are you doing? Ow. Can I get some help over here? Uh, guys? Alright, that's it. Yeah, sit down and shut up. Come on, keep attacking, you empire scum! They are so screwed. Attack- This is like- This is like Mountain Blade Warband style of attack. I would love- Can the artillery- Hold on, can the artillery actually reach this blob? Let me see. Let me let me try to angle the artillery. If we can actually hit that blob, please tell me. Okay, we'll try. We'll try. Where'd it go? Oh, there it is. Okay. Wow. No, no, no. We need to shorten it. Oh, I wish we could move it a little bit more. Over. All right. You know what? It might be best to just let the AI control this. We could go for those back blobs. It's mostly archers, yeah. You are not taking this city. Here comes another volley. Come on, be good. Oh, yes. Now, if we win this battle, we might have an opportunity to take back our city. Well, it looks like we're out of ammo over here. Um, so I'm just gonna go ahead and get back to the front and uh, help defend near the ladders. You guys are doing great. Look at you guys go. So proud of this army. We're doing it, guys. I'm telling you, it's so important to destroy enemy artillery. I think this is an enemy lord over here. Let's see if we can kill him. Yeah, it is. Oh, we got him. We got him. See you later, alligator. All right, how are we holding up here? Like absolute champs? Now, this is not going to be the most exciting gameplay because it's taking them like three years to get up this ladder. So what I'm going to do is just uh, keep shooting my bow and because I really can't fight in the front line. So I'm just going to chill back here and keep shooting them. Oh, no, no, no. Come on. Don't run. You can't be serious. You're running? No. Oh, I'm going to shoot these guys as long as I can. Yes. We held, boys. We held. Wow. We only killed 84 of them. That seems like utter bull crap. All right. So uh, I'm going to take these guys as prisoner. This should help our war score a bit to take all these guys as prisoners. <laughs> like, it's so many of them. If, uh, oh, wow, look at a thousand prisoners. A thousand prisoners. So I'm going to take all these prisoners and I'm going to put them in the dungeon. Okay, there we go. So <laughs> look at how, look at how many Palatine guard we captured. Like, it was a ton. Just a ton. And some of them want to join us now. So yeah, I'll... I'll gladly uh, accept them in the army. That was a huge win. Our morale is at 100. I'm going to chase these fools down. First, let's level up our troops. We also leveled up our engineering. Increased a ton, so that's sweet. I'm going to go with uh, Prison Architect. Uh, range siege equipment are 25% less likely to be hit while bombarding settlements. Prisoner escape chance from dungeons are decreased by 25%. That's really good. Oh, and we got another one. 
think I'm going to go with military planner here. This uh, ranged troops have 25% more ammunition, ammunition when besieging and 25% increased build speed for castle projects. All right, now let's go chase these guys down. Oh, oh, look how slow. Hmm. We're not that slow. Come here. Fight us. Fight us. Fight us. Fight us. Fight us. Oh, they want peace, huh? Of course they do. All right. The Northern Empire wants peace. Um, oh, we don't have to pay anything. It's kind of like a neutral peace after such an embarrassing defeat. Uh, but I could... You know what? I might go for... I want my city back. Then we can have peace. How's that sound? I mean, we have 500 troops ready to go. I'm not really afraid of the Southern Empire because they're so weak. See, how many defenders? Oh, 200? Oh, we got this, guys. We're, we're taking back my city. Yeah, give me back my city, you fools. So now all we have to do is build siege equipment. And I'm going to build it really fast. And then we're going to take back our city. The Southern Empire is now sieging one of our settlements. All right, we got to move quick. We got to move quick here. Okay, so we built all the siege equipment. We're going to go ahead and attack this settlement. Um, it sucks because it's at nighttime. I don't like to fight at nighttime. But we don't really have time to wait. We got to go in, attack, negotiate peace with the Northern Empire. We need to deal with the Southern Empire. And then we also have to deal with the Kuzates. I mean, this is just nonstop war. All right, let's take back what is rightfully ours. I cannot express how much of a success that last siege battle was. The fact that we just destroyed all their siege uh, like equipment and made it impossible. I mean, they should have built more equipment, honestly, and more artillery. They underestimated our power. And my archers are just chewing them up right now. Chewing them up. Alright, so we used up all my ammo. I'm going to join the lads in this assault. But you know what? I'll go through the gate. It's much safer to go through the gate. Once our infantry gets inside there, we're going to do a lot of damage. Alright, let's charge, boys. Get the door down. Yeah! All right, we got to watch out for rocks, but I think we're okay. Our infantry is already charging in from the sea. Oh, did they just open the gate or did we break it? It looks like they opened it. Go, boys. This is our settlement. Yeah. They're already breaking. Dang it. I wish I could have some arrows right now. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Throw, throw. Yes, good, good throw. This is our city. Oh, hey, he's got arrows. Could use them. For that reason right there, yes. All right, well done. We lost 81, which is not that bad. Okay, you are my prisoner now. Oh, and we unlocked 66 troops. I will take them all and put them in the garrison. Okay, so let's see where we are in terms of negotiation with the Northern Empire. Consider making pay... Why would we have to pay 400? Why would we have to pay 400? <sighs> I'm just going to accept it. I, I'm, I, I'm going to accept it. It sucks to have to pay that much, but we can't go to war with two other fact, like a total of three factions at the same time. We just, we just can't. Um, what we need to do now is, uh, well, dang it, guys. We, we're out of time. Man, things are going to get, things are getting wild, guys. Things are getting wild. Um, we need to deal with the Southern Empire because they're really not that strong we can take them out i believe or even get them to join us let me just see really quick if there's any lords over here that would be willing to join us so we're at this nearest castle let's see is there is there somebody here come on join us come on you know you want to join us what are you yes what are you saying exactly what i'm saying is that you should join us oh yes my friend yes my friend let's end this episode on a good note Oh, dang it. What about... Yes! 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 yes. Okay, so now he's going to want some money. Woo-wee! He wants a lot of money. A lot of money. You know what? We need, we need the lords. We need more lords. Whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. All right, guys. There we go. We just gained uh, a castle here. So it wasn't much, but it's another lord in our ranks. That's that's all that matters. It's it's huge. That's that's ginormous. But guys, unfortunately, 
we are way out of time and there's still so much to do so these episodes are going to get crazy especially at this stage of the kingdom where we just have battle after battle war after war we're doing everything we can to maintain the kingdom but i think what we need to do is figure out peace with the kuzates We'll finish them later, don't worry. But what I want is a 1v1 between us and the Southern Empire, and we can kind of consume the Southern Empire, and that's when we're going to start to build up strength and get more lords to join us, and it's going to be... It's going to be fantastic. All right, guys, that's going to wrap it up for today's episode. Thank you so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you in the next one.